careful. You're going in blind. All right, we're going in blind. Objective one, discover what type of ghost. Objective two, detect a ghost presence with a motion sensor, which I don't think we have, do we? No. Okay. Objective three, cleanse the area near the ghost using smudge sticks. We should have those. Uh, detect a room below 10 Celsius with a thermometer. Okay, we're dealing with Donald Anderson. And it responds to everyone. Okay, so this is going to be our first intermediate case as paranormal investigators. Let me just have a quick check. Okay, so it's only one camera, which is the front one there. Yep, I got, the, I got a video camera on me. Nice. Yeah, I'd really love some uh, some kind of a way of finding out if there was a, like a history of this place. You know, if someone met like a grisly end or something like that. Oh, there was a yeah. real, real horrible history. It'd be so cool. Uh, yeah, backstory would be really cool. Yep. Right. Here we go. And we're in. Or a suspected backstory in some cases. Oh, yeah. Right, I guess then, because we haven't really... Oh, we got another key here. Oh, not that's far, but we got it. Let's, um, let's turn a few of the lights on then. We want to try and do this quick because we are dealing with a little bit more of a trickier situation. I hit 10 degrees there for a second. Oh, you did? I forgot where that was. I think so, yeah. Okay. Right, if you've got, that, uh, you've got yeah, this floor then. Here. Oh, nice. Okay. Might be worth going back to the truck and seeing if we got that hit. What else we're dealing with? What's in there? Okay, yeah, we do. We've got a garage. Oh, there's like a mannequin in here too. <laughs> oh. Toolbox, jerry cans. I'm gonna keep this closed up. Do you know what room you got that hit with? Uh, I was in the hallway coming out. Or this, this, first, this first kitchen area. Yeah, the kitchen. Oh. Nope. Oh. The alarm went off by itself. In the garage. Yeah, yeah. see if you get in a hit. Heading over there. I think I just... Yeah, oh yeah, six degrees, seven degrees. Okay, degrees. so it's in the garage. This is a hot spot. Yep. Right, watching for ghost orbs. Nothing showing up right now. Definitely got a temperature drop in the garage. Timer is There's up. There's activity right now. Yep. Yep. Activity right now at a four. UV light. Right, now here's the question though. Do we want to use the smudge stick when we get activity from whatever it is? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's how it works. I don't know. I've never, I mean, I've used them before, but I don't know, if, you know, if there's a specific time that you should use it or not. Okay. Oh, oh, dude, in the corner there. My left, there was a, there was a footstep. Yep, over here somewhere. Throw the book down in that corner. Yep. And I'm going to use smudge stick as well right now. Cleanse in the area. Usually you have like some some kind of a passage to read from, don't you? Because I think it's sage that's made up of this stuff. Yeah. Really, uh, like, diff I know you can get different ingredients and stuff, but I think it's sage from the stuff that I watch. All right, we got that. Area's been cleaned. And uh, we'll, we'll give it a second. Cleansed. We Close the door up. Oh, I picked up something. What did I pick up? Yeah, I was just going to suggest, seeing as though we've just cleansed the area, let's have a look around, see if we can find any of the bones or... Any, uh, any extra stuff? I think I, oh, I picked up a cell phone, maybe? Yeah. Oh, we got another key here. Another key. Nice. Nice. Wait, what would that key be for, then? I don't know. There's no other door, is there? No, is I don't think so. I don't, I don't have a torch, and this is terrifying. There's a back door to this place, so the back porch here. Where is it? Uh, up to the right. Can we... Here. Uh, yeah, right oh, here. Oh, wait, what's no, that? No, that's the garage. Is, where is it at? Right here. Oh, back, straight back to the left. Right here. Can we actually get out of there? I have no clue. No. No? I haven't been upstairs yet. Oh, there's a little ball there. Suppose I don't... Alarm's going back off in the garage? Yep. We'll turn it off. I'm going to put the ball in the garage and see if I can get anything on camera. Oh, careful, dude. Careful. Yep. We got something in the book. Ghost writing. Oh, nice. Leave or die. All right. Right. I'm going to put the ball like right there. So what does the salt do? Does it leave footprints? 
I know it. I know uh, it's like acts as a barrier. Salt's supposed to be like a. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep, and then you you can see footprints in it as well if they step in it. So. Oh, you actually can. Oh. Yep. Okay, we have to try that. We absolutely have to try that. I haven't done that yet. All right, I got a camera. Got some salt. Then, uh, yeah, you can dump three piles of salt. All right, EMF is on. Was that you? Nope, that wasn't me. Oh, he's pissed. I'm not going to say its name yet. All right. We put these on. I'm going to put this stuff here. So we can see it. There we go. We turn this off. There we go. Right. Let's do a quick EMF check. Oh, handprint. I got a handprint here. Nice, on the door. nice. I'm getting nothing on EMF right now. I'm just going to move this a little bit further back, dude, just because it's hard to see. <gasps> Something just opened to my left. I mean, if he comes in here, we'll be able to see the footprints, right? Should. Do you want us to leave? Turn the light off. <gasps> footprint, footprint. Oh, dude, he's in it. Footprint right there. <laughs> Got a picture. Oh, of it. nice. Good thinking. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we have ghost writing, which we need to grab that book, too. And we got the fingerprints, too. So that leaves us with spirit or revenant. Let's see what it says about those two. Unique strengths. A revenant will travel at significantly higher speeds when hunting a victim. Weaknesses. Hiding from the revenant will cause it to move very slowly. Spirit is the most common ghost that you'll come across. However, it's very powerful and dangerous. They're usually discovered at one of their hunting grounds after an unexplained death. Unique strengths. It doesn't have any unique strengths. Weaknesses, though, using smudge sticks on a spirit will stop it from attacking from a long period of time. Well, it hasn't attacked yet, but it is active. We're going to do a spirit box session. Oh! Are you okay? A little bit of activity in the living room there. Oh, there's a ball in here. Wait, did you move that? I did not. N no way is that the ball from the garage. Dude, promise me you didn't move that? I didn't, I didn't touch the ball. There's no way that's the ball from the garage. I need to find oh. out. Another footprint. Oh. Oh, there it is. Behind the... Oh, I saw it. The shadow figure behind the door. Yep. I nice. got a picture of it. Right, let's put this down. We'll do a spirit box session real quick. And the ball is not in here, so... It is. It's, it's. Oh, that, dude, that is. That's amazing. I've not seen that yet. I've not seen the move objects like that. Right, closing the door. Lights off. Spirit box session. Here we go. Do you want us to leave? Are you evil? Are you alone? Alright. Nope. What was that? Oh my god, Tag was right in front. EMF. We're getting a four. 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 Holding four. God, that's so loud. Flashing, flashing. Okay. 
We good? Yep, breakers on. Don't know where the, the light still switch flashing, is. Still flashing, still okay. flashing, still flashing. There we go, we're good. I'm just gonna place that down right next to it then in case you trap anything there. Let's leave that off. Right, spirit box, here we go. Spirit box is on. Can you speak? Is there anyone here? Show us a sign. Do you want us to leave? Can you make a sound? Are you hearing something? I'm not hearing anything. Oh, he's here. We got it. We trapped it, dude. We trapped it. He's trapped. It's, it's a, a five. five on EMF, it's five. too. It's a five on EMF. Can you grab any of the equipment? I got the camera. I got the camera. Yeah. Do we need to get out of this place and, like right now? Yep. Grabbing the crucifix. To grab a torch. I can't see anything. Nope, sorry, sorry, sorry. No, sorry, no, no, it's good, it's good, it's good. I can I could just see the back of where you're going. Okay. Ooh. Right. Okay. <laughs> nice. Let's see what it is. Because if it was EMF, that's a revenant, right? Yep. Revenant. Wait, look at the photos you got. So you got the ball, you got the salt. You definitely got a shadow figure behind the door. Oh yeah, look with the big meat cleaver. Yeah, yep. And you got the ghost the top of it. And then you got it in the corner there as well. Nice. So we had an EMF level five. Yeah, we're dealing with a revenant. So let's see again what it says about that thing. A revenant is a slow but violent ghost that will attack indiscriminately. It's been rumored to travel at significantly high speeds when hunting. Weaknesses hiding from the revenant will cause it to move very slowly. Okay, so that's what we need to do if we get into a little bit of trouble with this before we get our equipment back. All right. Insanity is at basically zero as well, so. Oh, it's in there again. Oh, yeah. Probably heard what we were trying to do. Activity is at a zero right now. Just drop down. Nice. Let's make this quick. Yep. All right, where's Stuff. the other crucifix at? Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah. Have you get any more space? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got it. Can you got grab it. that glow stick too? Nope. Nope. Can't pick it up. Oh, there we go. You got it. Let's go. Turn the light off. Close the door up. Let's see if we can antagonize it a little bit before we dip. See, they stand in the doorway and then we'll just move back a little bit. Donald Anderson. <laughs> oh. Donald Anderson. Oh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Look at us big brave paranormal investigators calling the ghost from the doorway. <laughs> oh yeah, he's spiking. Donald, you didn't scare me. You didn't scare me. <laughs> he's spiking too. We're at six. Oh, a five. It's holding. Spirit box. We got leave or die in the book. Taco stole somebody's phone. And yeah, I think that's everything, isn't it? Yeah. Bonus equipment. Motion sensor we didn't get. What about checking upstairs to see if there was anything in the rooms? Do we want to do that? Like, any clues-wise? Thoughts? No. <laughs> Close her up. Let's get out of here. <laughs> what were we dealing with? It was a revenant. We got it, dude. Nice. Objective one. We couldn't get two because we didn't have a motion sensor. Objective three for photos we didn't get any bone evidence and we didn't get the insurance so what is it we're not doing with the insurance then i, I guess the only ins insurance only comes into play is if you die yeah so, so you need some of the money back. it's for the loss of equipment then isn't it okay that makes yeah. sense yep just before we end today i wanted to talk to you guys about future things that could be added to phasmophobia i know a lot of you guys like me like to watch these paranormal or ghost hunting shows in hopes that one day they're gonna get that smoking gun piece of evidence and to do that 
they do use a wide variety of equipment that some of you may not have seen before. So first off, we've got the digital recorder. This thing is very similar in terms of how you use it to a spirit box. You would take this thing into a location and hopefully in a very quiet area so you don't get any outside noise pollution and you would begin asking questions with pauses in between so that if anything is there, the digital recorder will pick it up within the white noise also known as an EVP, which stands for Electronic Voice Phenomena. The most important thing about this piece of equipment is that you can review evidence really quickly while you're on location and maybe if there's a stubborn ghost, maybe they can give you some clues to their location or how they unfortunately died. If anyone's ever seen paranormal investigators use the digital recorder while being on a location, when they get a voice back, just the look on their face tells it all. It's absolutely terrifying. The next piece of equipment would be an infrared camera. This would essentially do the same job as a thermometer as it's able to detect different temperatures, but with the added bonus of having a screen so you can track what you're seeing in real time. You could potentially use this camera to be led to certain areas of a location by the ghost and that in itself is just horrifying or it could just as easy as create a little bit more fear and tension within certain locations if you're seeing handprints on footprints or who knows what else i know that fear factor is going to go up times 10 and not to mention the thermometer is absolutely broken in the game right now so this could be a good alternative Finally, I was going to include night vision cameras here, but I'm pretty sure that they will add that at some point. So instead, I'm going to tell you guys about something called an SLS Connect camera or just SLS camera. Now, this is arguably the most controversial piece of equipment that paranormal investigators use, as it's said that this thing can visibly map something in front of you using the Kinect camera and the software that it uses to recognize human shapes and joints. Now, could you guys imagine if you were walking through a location, let's just use Asylum as an example. And as you're walking down this corridor, you see something stood in front of you that you can't see with the naked eye, but you're seeing it on the display of the SLS camera. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I really hope something like this is added to the game at some point, or at least something like this is added to the game, because I know this will create fear unlike anything else. And it's a really cool piece of equipment too. Now, the last thing that I would love to see added to Phasmophobia, which I think is why these paranormal shows, these ghost hunting shows, hook you in like they do, is because when they go to a location, you get a little bit of a story behind what's going on. So for argument's sake, I'm going to show some possible locations now that I think could be added to the game. Could you guys imagine if some of these had a bit of a history behind them? So let's just say the hotel or the cemetery or the old ship or even a prison or something. Each one of those locations could have a story behind it with the ghost that you're hunting tied to that piece of information. And I don't know, I just think it would just make the locations a lot more terrifying. You'd be a lot more invested in it. I don't know. I think I would love to see that added to Phasmophobia. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Is there any other pieces of equipment that I've missed off that you would like to see? Or is there any other locations that I've not listed here that you would love to see in Phasmophobia? For now, though, guys, we are going to end it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support, and I'll see you all in the next one.